Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Baginski, one of the board certified surgeons here at Red Bank Veterinary Hospital. I'm here today to talk to you about a surgical condition called gastric dilatation and volvulus, or GDV. This is our friend Bella, and she's here to represent a common breed in which we see this condition. GDV is a serious and life-threatening condition. Basically what happens is the stomach dilates with fluid, food, and or gas, and it twists in a clockwise direction, and that's what we call volvulus. The dilation can happen before, during, or after the twist. This twisting and dilation causes compression of major vessels within the abdomen that normally take blood back to the heart. This overall leads to a decrease in perfusion, or blood flow, to the stomach and other organs. Within a few hours, this can progress so quickly that it leads to irreversible damage to the stomach, shock, and even death. We see GDV in several common breeds, including Great Danes like Bella, Dobermans, Standard Poodles, and Shepherds. All of these breeds have a common body conformation with the deep, large, narrow chests. However, we still see it in the less common breeds without that body conformation, including Labradors and Huskies. GDV is diagnosed on x-rays of the abdomen. Although there are variations in stomach position, the classic appearance of a twisted stomach is this reversed C-shape, or what some call a double bubble. It gets this appearance when distended with gas and rotation of at least 180 degrees. The most common clinical signs which develop and progress quickly include unproductive vomiting or retching, drooling, restlessness or pacing, and the appearance of abdominal distension or bloating. Dogs can eventually collapse. It's important to recognize these signs quickly and get your pet to your vet or the nearest veterinary emergency hospital as soon as possible. Importantly, there is no conservative management that is effective at home. GDV is a surgical disease. After diagnosis and aggressive stabilization, surgery is required to put the stomach back in normal position, assess the health of the stomach and other organs, and then to create a permanent adhesion between the body wall and the stomach so that volvulus or twisting cannot occur in the future. One of the most common questions I get after treating GDV is why did this happen to my dog? There is no single factor that leads to GDV by itself. Some predisposing factors are, like we mentioned before, breeds with the large, narrow chests. Also age, so dogs that are older are more likely to get GDV than younger dogs. There are also some other contributing factors, like ingesting a large amount of food or a large amount of water before or after exercise, or ingesting a large single meal a day. Dogs that are stressed or anxious also have a higher risk. Another common question I get from owners is that they should be feeding from ground level or in an elevated food bowl. In the past, it was thought that feeding from the ground may lead to a GDV, but this has been since disproven. I recommend that my patients get fed from ground level, if at all possible. The only definitive prevention for GDV is a prophylactic surgical procedure called gastropexy. This is the creation of a permanent attachment between the stomach and the body wall to prevent future twisting or volvulus. This is often recommended at the time of spay or neuter in those breeds that are at higher risk, but it can be performed at any age. At Red Bank Veterinary Hospital, we can provide this service either through an open surgical approach or through minimally invasive surgery with the assistance of a laparoscope. Bella is owned by one of our emergency doctors here at Red Bank Veterinary Hospital, and since she's a breed at higher risk for GDV, she had a prophylactic gastropexy performed after she was rescued. I hope that this video was helpful in educating you on GDV, or gastric dilatation and globulus, also known as bloat. Thanks, Bella.